action. So I'm with Cliff Akirang, manager of Coventry United, after today's game in the FA Vars against Long Melford. Cliff, what a fantastic result. Yeah, um, delighted with the boys. That was a really tough, really hard game. Melford, um, to be honest, um, the videos I watched on them didn't do them justice, and, and today they were superb. And, you know, we had to really grind out a result, and um, to, they just made a game of it. Uh, luckily for us, um, we got the all-important goal and managed to hold on. How does that rank in your managerial career to date in terms of result today? Oh, it's, um, as you know, it's probably the biggest in the club's history to finally make the first round. Uh, we had a crack at it last year and was taken out in the first stage. Um, so that little bit of experience, as I remember having this interview with you this yes. time last year, yes. and said, you know, we have to take it as an experience and try and right the wrongs a bit next year, but the only time you get to practice is the following year. So um, I've, I've sort of learned from the mistakes of, of, of last year. And um, fortunately, these two games that we've played, which haven't been easy, have both been yeah. teams in the level above. And, um, you know, it's, it's come to plan. So. Yes. Were you surprised to take the lead in the way that you did, as early as you did? Um, well, we knew there was something not right with the Long Melford team because um, they've, they've had a bit of an up and down season um, and, and the results prior to today's game, they've been they've had nine put past them in, in one game and um, and then the next game they, they win 3-0 um, and, and uh, the cup round before I think they drew three all and won on penalties. So it was really random and really hard to figure out where the strengths and the weaknesses were. But um, we just thought, as long as we stay in the game as long as possible, one of the cracks will show. And um, luckily, it showed quite early, and uh, <coughs> and it was you know, down to a mistake, and we were prepared for it. And, uh, and the boys that up top done well to finish it off. I have to say, <clears throat> seeing Mo trying to follow up after Ben Madden's shots, it did worry me for a second that where he's, where he's such a big guy trying to get his legs sorted so that he could get through and then put it away. But once he got through and mm. got his legs sorted, you just knew there was only going to be one result. He was putting yeah. in the net. Uh, it's nice because, you know, he hasn't scored for a while and um, the, the, the goals are starting to flow in our team now and, and, and it's different goal scorers as well each week. So um, it, 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 we get, I gave um, Mo the go-ahead because... Um, I, I thought today would be a good game for him. Uh, everything that I've, I thought Melford would be worried about um, was Mo. Yes. And um, and he showed that he's got that killer instinct in front of goal. Um, and and you just you know hope that when he gets his chance, he puts it away, and he did. Let's talk a bit about your defence. It has to be said that you were put under a considerable amount of pressure. I mean. At times, you were trying to clear the ball, and within seconds, it was coming straight back at you. Mm. Um, but it has to be said, for all that pressure, I don't remember Lewis having a save to make mm -hmm. of any real notes. How does that make you feel? Uh, <clears throat> As you know, the, the season has started. Um, it's no surprise that you know results haven't been great, and um, we've had to rebuild the team and. We started off with a lot of young players and we've slowly started to get a little bit of consolidation, um, if you like, and and it's because we've brought in a little bit more experience and, and uh, Dobkin's come in and straight away he's given us a, a voice. Uh, Anomi came in um, and he's, he's only a young guy himself, but he's played at a higher level and he looks like a monster. Mm. <laughs> Big you know, big old boy, uh, and uh, <coughs> Nico Fargan, um, a lot of people know him from his time at Coventry Town, uh, was the original captain of the of the, of the main club, and uh, we're delighted to get him to come back in again, and his experience and just um, uh, understanding of the game would just help the players around him. Uh, and, and, and I talk about him like his experience is only like 26. <laughs> But in a team with 19 and 20 year olds, you know, he is the the big captain and big leader uh, on the field. And again, we didn't have Betty with us today, he's um, got suspension. So we needed it to come from somewhere else and we, we've been toying with it and having a look at different players. But 
I think those guys at the back today with Fred and Emmanuel who come on um, just showed what they can do and they, they, they didn't panic. They were dealing with wave after wave after wave of attacks and they just stood firm and they probably could have gone on another 20 minutes and still wouldn't have conceded. And uh, it's taken us a while to get to that stage and as you know from last season, we scored a lot of goals but we were built on a solid defence and you know we just got to get back to that, those levels and those um, standards again and um, we can start you know, picking up results in the league again. Are you pleased though to get over the line and now have that foundation of a victory and such a significant victory moving into the league games yeah. for the rest of this month yeah. and into October? Um, you know, um, it's, it's been a tough time um, and the, the the strange thing is that you look at the other teams and I don't think any of the top four apart from Housted from last season had done what we expected them to do. Everyone sort of stuttered at the start, but we've all been sidetracked with the cup games and things like that. So it's been hard um, to you know focus on the two things and, and get them both right. Um, and, and we've probably been the one that's most surprising. But when people see what players we've lost over the course of the pre-season they'll know that we've, we've started again from scratch and, and just to get to this stage again and to finally take our opportunity in the FA Vars um, you know, speaks volumes for a little club like us uh, and now we can enjoy waiting for the next round and uh, see who we get. Well let's, let's have a bit, a bit of fun to end this. Who would you like if you could pick anyone in the Vars for the next round? Um, would you like someone local again? To be honest, um, we've, we've, we've only drawn a step five team. Um, so another step five team, but a nice sort of big one, big stadium uh, and, and a nice day out. Uh, uh, and, and just someone really sort of well known and popular. So you'd like an away day? Yeah. yeah. An away day? Mm -hmm. That'd be fantastic. And, and we also need someone to sponsor us for a coach. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. If you want to get in touch, check us out on social media, check us out on the website, cockishunitedfc.com. We'd love to hear from you. It doesn't matter what it is, you can sponsor us. Even if it's just toilet rolls, we'll be happy. Yeah. <laughs> and on that note, that humorous note, Cliff Accurang, great result. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Cheers.